The University of New Mexico Human Resources Department has now opened an investigation into head football coach Mike Loxley. Loxley attacked an assistant coach during an argument at a coach's meeting last week. Yesterday, athletics director Paul Krebs said he gave Loxley a verbal and written reprimand, but that might not be the end of it. News 13's Alex Tomlin joins us live from University Stadium. Diane, most of the talk about the Lobos these days isn't about what's happening on this field. It's about what's happening with their coaching staff. And this new investigation means there could be more disciplinary action for Coach Loxley. But talk is already about campus, and they're debating whether or not he got off too easy. Two Sundays ago, head Lobo coach Mike Loxley reportedly grabbed assistant coach Jonathan J.B. Gerald and hit him in the mouth. The fight came during a heated coaches' meeting. Been given a chance by administration to correct the mistake. I rarely make the same mistake twice, so I look forward to growing from it. Loxley got a slap on the wrist. In this business, it is not uncommon for coaches to have heated discussions. A verbal and written reprimand from Vice President of Athletics, Paul Krebs. You simply cannot put your hand on another coach. You cannot have any kind of physical altercation. That is simply not acceptable. The university's faculty handbook says actions including physical abuse or threats will result in appropriate disciplinary procedures and sanctions. Jack Fortner is UNM's Board of Regents Vice President. He brought up the incident today during a board meeting. Kim, I'm very disappointed in coach. I asked Fortner if the same action would be taken if one professor had attacked another. I mean, that would be a decision then that would probably be decided ultimately by the provost. And again, um, I have confidence in our provost. Fortner says he has the same confidence in Krebs. As a region, I'm not in the business of second-guessing either our provost um, or our athletic director. I spoke to faculty members today who didn't want to go on camera but said that the disciplinary action taken against Loxley is a heated topic on campus. Now coming up in sports, hear reaction from Lobo football players about the incident. Diane, back to you. All right, thank you, Alex. Now we also spoke with the faculty head, Douglas Fields, tonight who emphasized that it is important that the university's policy standards be applied equally to every staff member. But he wouldn't comment on whether the Loxley incident set a precedent on leniency.